21st of April 2023. Hello everybody, Sergey Baklykov, Albina Baklykova, Hello. and this is Baklykov Live. Today, this Friday night, we uh, came to the town, old town of Tikhvin that is, uh, was founded in 1383. It is uh, 200 kilometers east from St. Petersburg and uh, this is actually now <clears throat> our first uh, trip on the Moskvich 3, which is I recently purchased for even more trips special for you guys. Okay, so everybody, welcome to Tikhvin, which is located right on Tikhvinka River on both banks of this Tikhvinka uh, river. So uh, Tikhvin, as it often happens in Russia and in the names of uh, the Russian towns and uh, settlements and villages, it's the uh, Gidronium. That means it's named after the water source, the river or maybe a lake or uh, maybe uh, the uh, spring or something. And uh, there's uh, no any uh, exact, well, there is no any exact um, confirmation of what it means, Tikhvin, but probably the most popular, the most popular, like most famous version that it is referred to an old uh, Russian word, what means Tikhi, what means quiet. Okay, so now let's go from here. Look, only 200 kilometers east from St. Petersburg, and here. We are in a, such a, you know, amazing village landscape. However, however, Tikhvin is uh, kind of, um, well, it's like kind of not small. It's 55,000 residents are living here. So it has both as uh, the, uh, you know, such a village, village panoramas as uh, the panorama as as like a, I mean the flavor of uh, the town more like you know the Soviet town it depends on where you are but now here of course we are in the most historic part of it so I started from the observation platform look here is the observation platform with a great view to the river and uh, to uh, famous Tikhvinsky Monastery, Tikhvin Monastery. Uh, and um, <clears throat> there's the Assumption Cathedral, where is located the Tikhvin icon of the Mother of God. Tikhvin. Founded in 1383 and being in the middle of the waterway, which is connecting Volga River, the largest uh, river in Russia, and the Baltic Sea. So it's taken its uh, good place in the economy. Let's say they are provided the waterway, they are provided the movements of uh, different stuff, different goods from uh, Petersburg to Nizhny Novgorod's fair. And that was actually the largest fair in Russia back in those days. You see actually this river, which is called Tikhvinka and probably means Tikhe, like quiet. However, in this place, it's not quiet because of this gates. You see the historic gates, no, it's a schluss. It's called schluss, probably the uh, Dutch word. You see them? Here we can see uh, the historic gates on Tikhvinka River from the beginning of 19th century. Yes, it's definitely a kind of kind of 
renovated, I can say, but it is now giving us a complete idea what it used to be. You know, um, it's interesting, but now that street which is goes there, right in front of the Tiffin Monastery and along the river called Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov Street, because one of the greatest composers of Russia ever, Nikolai Andreevich Rimsky Korsakov, was born in the house which is located on this street. It's still there. It's still there and uh, now the house museum or the mansion museum. So no wonder, no wonder Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov turned to be the composer and uh, was composing so many great um, masterpieces. And most of them are on the uh, theme of an old Russia. It's also interesting about Pyotr Tchaikovsky, who was born in the town of Vodkinsk, also right next to the Vodka River. So uh, the house mansion where he lived, where he was born in 1840, it is also located on the bank of Vodka River. And so both composers like really were growing up in the environments with the views like this. By the way, Tsikhvin, even though it's like it is in Leningrad region, this is how, however, for the first time I'm taking you here. You see, that's what it is all about when I told you that um, I will make even deeper trips. I will go to the places where there's no airplanes are flying. So this is our first trip by car. Shelly Vasquez, Stacey O. Shields, Paul Lesser, Silvana Hori, Ashok Potsu. I'm saying hi to everybody. Not vodka, vodka. T, like Timothy, you know. Not D, like Donald's. Vodka. And the town called Vodkinsk. You hear me? You hear me? I wonder if you can hear me. So another gate. Wow, awesome day, no winds, the sunshine dry and so beautiful. Tikhvin, Leningrad region. It's really beautiful here. So Shad just became a member. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. These trips are possible thankful to you guys. Thankful to the members. As 100% of the revenue from membership goes for such a trips. Thank you. Скорее всего, да. Ну, потому что вот у нас, я помню, в деревне, в бане фундамента не было, были бревна лиственницы. Вот эти бревна, они не были. О, look, I remember in one of the games, something like Stalker or so, there were the old zeal tracks and now it's like really i mean like really it's not for nothing because um in the russian provinces still you can see uh so many ruins of 
a uh, former Zeal tracks. Look at that. So it's you now like in a game stalker. You see that? So many private houses with an absolutely different designs because you know in Russia in most places you still no need to um, confirm the design of your building with uh, the state all you need is to confirm the electricity gas but no design so that's why in Russia you will find so many designs of the private houses whoa so beautiful so beautiful look only a, only a 200 kilometers east from St. Petersburg and that's it you're in a quietness of Tikhvin. And it's even more beautiful here in the summertime. I once was traveling with the vloggers around the Kareli, if you remember, and we were riding through Tikhvin. Never was stopping here, but we were riding through Tikhvin and damn it. In the summertime, when it's all green, it's even more beautiful. Да, ну кто же знал? Ладно, там тоже нормальный плейс. Мы тем более торопились. Мэри Дервиш, where is Victoria? Well, she preferred to stay at home. She is now in the age when she is not interested in the uh, things like this but more interested in just hanging out with your friends besides that I don't know maybe, maybe we overloaded her much with the trips yet several years ago I'm not, I, I don't know if we now can get into the territory of Tikhvin Monastery look this is the Tikhvin Monastery. It's interesting that it is actually not called the Kremlin, but structurally it's almost like Kremlin. And back in the old days, when uh, this was the northwestern borders of an old Russia, Russian Empire. Well, actually, it was seized by the Swedes. Swedes, should I say Swedes? And uh, back then, the walls of Tikhvin Monastery really was turning to be uh, like uh, the walls of what was turning into the fortress let's look at their Okay, it's opened until 9 p.m., the security guard said. Так. Давай, куда пойдём? В какую сторону? Давай эту сторону пойдём. So you see, in fact, it's almost like a Kremlin.
Это женский, да? Нет, мужской. Look, you see, there are the walls, and it's almost like Kremlin. How about World War II? How was Tikhvin affected? Tikhvin was affected pretty much. The Nazis captured Tikhvin already in 1941. but then was liberated with the Soviet army. Tikhvin was liberated with the Soviet army. Many seagulls. Albina now never stops saying how really great the air is here it smells so good look the bell tower awesome awesome I'm here for the first time and I enjoy it. Always happy when I still all the time open up the new great places here in Russia for myself and for you. Whoa. It's like really old Russia. Northwestern Russia. Whoa. Whoa. Really great smell here. Smell it's the air like in a village. Мне кажется, это еще с давних пор. Where are the people, Silvana Hori? No idea. That's because we came today not to Moscow. We came to Tikhvin, which is actually, even though kind of popular around the tourists, but it's not something where a big masses are coming. So, and now this is the most famous cathedral in Tikhvin, the Assumption, the Assumption Cathedral, one of the oldest ones. Whoa. Tikhvin, that bell tower from another angle. Awesome, awesome. The real touch of an ancient Russia.
It was built in 16th century for images more. You hear me? Hello, Junior Skinner. Awesome. Neil McDonald's great little place. Check out. Thank you, Neil. Thank you for the super chats. Enjoy this. No, извините, все-таки. Mm -hmm. And now this is a little churchyard that is the inside of monastery. Uh, graveyards. Here are buried the most significant heads of the Assumption Cathedral. Надо же, прямо здесь хранили наиболее значительных настоятелей храма. Вау! Вау! Uh, you guys are completely amazed. I am completely amazed. Tikhon surprises us. Whoa, Sergey. Ashok, enjoy this. Jan Olaf Johansson, good evening to you, good evening to Sweden, hi to Uppsala, welcome to Tichman, 200 kilometers east from St. Petersburg, today we are here. More of the graves of the same people who all their life used to serve for the Assumption Cathedral on the territory of Tichvin Monastery. Rosalinda Strona, Claudia Wodlich, Genia Skinner, Shelly Vasquez, nice to see you all enjoying. Many seagulls. Okay, 
And now let's take a walk inside of the city, little by little. Tikhvin. Да, Веденский. Веденский. Not far from here, by the way, they also have another monastery. It's a men's monastery. And there's a, it's a women's monastery. So in the summer time, the monastery is open until 9 p.m. I really like rural Russia too. Thanks for the fantastic tour. Congratulations on the new car. Anastasia, thank you very much. It's much appreciated. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yes, it's more rural Russia. And uh, it's... Uh, it's... Uh, Already 650 years old settlement. Да уж после города, да? Это вся атмосфера прям на визол. Альбина says after the city, the big city, this atmosphere is gold. Да. Альбина saying that it's a special, special kind of joint, and uh, she's wondering that if, but if we would live here, would would we enjoy this as much as we enjoy this now, or would already take it for granted? Ну, конечно, мы бы уже не так. Ну вот я говорю, если мы бы постоянно в таком месте жили, да? Для нас это было бы... So look, look, dudes, once again, once again, even though it is not called Kremlin, but look at these walls. It's like really, it's like another Kremlin in Russia. Because the walls, the walls are huge. This is a nice little park, and there's the pond. Mm -hmm. Alvina really enjoying, really enjoying this contrast, she said. New emotions, new environment, new atmosphere, new vibe like completely different than what we can see in the big cities mm -hmm. yeah so it's nice to be in here and there The pond. The youth rising, riding the bicycles. Little by little, the sun goes down. Perfect, perfect.
the real northwest. This is the very Russia, because it was Russia yet thousand years ago. Hello Kriegers. Hi Cherub. Used to foster. This Kremlin is very cool. Well, look, it's not called Kremlin here, but technically it could be called Kremlin for sure. Sean Kane, Soviet Union is creating nice places to visit. Man, you are delusional. This all existed here for almost six centuries before the Soviet Union. I mean, Soviet Union and Soviet Union, they were making a lot of great places too. But exactly this town having a completely ancient flavor. So what the hell are you talking about? I wonder, are you delusional? These seagulls really love to hang out on the pond. Shelly Vasquez, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, this is also Moskvich. Moskvich, the model 2141. And it's funny that this Moskvich having a larger engine than I have on the new Moskvich now. It's 1.7 liters engine and I have 1.5. Это где-то конец 80-х, начало 90-х. Видимо, да. Кстати, у Цоя вот был такой москвич. Виктор Цой used to have the москвич 2141, just exactly like this one. A huge walls of Tiffin Monastery. And look, even look even at those like uh, little windows. That's for the archers. That also could be used for the archers. <clears throat> Good fella. Usually you are getting bans for Niva jokes. I don't care if you will joking about Moskvich. <laughs> Another church. Смотри, какой Москвич, смотри, какая Нива. Наш Москвич. Okay. Ну, знаешь что? Конечно же, на трассе Москвич, вот этот третий, дернет Ниву, но если по бездорожью, то там Нивы, конечно. На Ниву полный привод? Конечно. Все Нивы с полным приводом идут. Not only the Assumption Cathedral here on the territory of Tichvin Monastery, but also several churches and the bell tower.
okay and look that is the mansion museum of Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov. Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov was born right here. He was uh, from the noble family. So they see, you see they had absolutely amazing house, especially for those days in the end of 19th century. Here was coming Tchaikovsky, Shalyapin, Rachmaninov. They have the piano there. Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov was playing himself, and uh, which also touched the hands of Tchaikovsky, Rachmaninov. Can you imagine that? Max Res Default. So, and uh, what's in it for you? It's not your problem, okay? I was not asking for your advice. You hear me? Jan Olaf Johansson, thank you for a great Nero Super Chats. An amount of 500 uh, Swedish Kron. Well, it's like about 50 bucks. Thank you so much. So now we will walk next to the Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov house, which is now the museum. Everybody may come there. Over 10,000 items, like uh, the authentic items of. Rimsky Korsakov family located there. Сейчас туда вон к Римскому Корсакову, дому Римского Корсакова. Tikhvinka River. So now this whole street is named after Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Ты посмотри вот, wow! Остановись, просто остановись. Let's stop. Let's just stop. And look closer. Whoa. Whoa. Вы посмотрите, вы только посмотрите, вот смотри. Насколько уникальный здесь лег рельеф. Такая вот, смотри. Речка с таким изгибом. Такой берег не очень крутой. С разнообразными деревьями. Look, wow, what's a unique landscape with a such a curvy river with an amazing shore line and ancient monastery. A former merchant houses. Whoa, whoa.
Antonino is saying that you can uh, paint the pictures here easily, easily. Whoa! 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 Just look at this. And believe, and look, this is the reality. This is the reality. It's not a render. This is the reality. And uh, Tikhonka River is a part of the waterway which is connecting Volga River and Baltic Sea. Well, probably not anymore because it's just not needed anymore. There is uh, even better water waste now. Mirza Shahid is asking when I will come to Murina. Well, Mirza is really, he is really delusional, okay? First thing, while I'm here, while I'm here, instead of enjoying, instead of enjoying this great place, he's asking me when I will come to the neighborhoods of Ant Hills, Murino. Besides that, I've been to Murino already like uh, several times. Damn, that's delusional. I can't believe it. What's wrong with with Mirza? Вы только посмотрите. So that's it. The house, which is now the house museum of Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov. He was born here, spent his childhood here. It's just like I told you, the city of Votkinsk, Votkinsk, in uh, nowadays Republic of Udmurtia. Votkinsk, also located on the bank of Votka River. Not vodka, but Votka. T like Timothy, Vodka River. That's where he lived with his family. His father was the head of Vodkinsk plant. And uh, same about, same about uh, Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov. So both great composers was born and raised on the bank of picturesque rivers. So you see, uh, it seems like the real Russian nature really affecting, really affecting the minds, imagination, inspiration. In the regular hours, everybody may come and uh, see where Rimsky Korsakov lives. Uh, there's a lot of items, as I told you, over 10,000 authentic items of uh, Rimsky Korsakov family saved here. You know, uh, turning this uh, mansion into the museum was happening under the, uh, um, how to say, patronage of uh, Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov. Uh, relatives, including the uh, grandchildren. So they really tried to, deed every, to do everything uh, as as better as possible. Oh yes, Makaranesia, Shahirizada, Satko. Snow girl or like snow maiden. Uh, no wonder that most of Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov masterpieces uh, were, were based on the uh, truly Russian themes. Okay.
римский Корсаков, being born here, being born and raised here, he all, abs ab ab how to say, absorbed with the Russian spirit. David Davidovich, hi. 15 operas. Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov composed, which are still staged in the best theaters, films all over the world. Anastasia, great artists are born in such an environment. Oh yes, and look, uh, what about um, what about Rachmaninoff? In fact, he also was born in uh, Novgorod region, and there is also the uh, and he also lived in the Tambov region, where is there the house museum of. Rachmaninov, Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov. In St. Petersburg, I remember I used to show you his uh, uh, apartments, the apartment museum on Zagrodny Prospect. You remember that? St. Petersburg Music Conservatory, where Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov uh, works as the professor, also named after him now. And let me tell you that Music Conservatory in St. Petersburg, it's along with the Moscow Conservatory, is the highest school for the musicians. Look, if you have finished the Moscow Conservatory, or St. Petersburg Music Conservatory, um, you have nowhere more to grow, okay? Such a house as of the beginning of 20th century, the end of 19th century. Meanwhile, also such a modern cathedras houses as well. Jonski, another great stream, thanks for sharing. You are pretty much welcome. That's what it is all about. And that's, uh, that's what I mean when I told you that. Now my goal is to go deeper, okay? Look, for the last four months, I was making the regular live streams. Look, they chopped the woods for the oven. Okay, so for the last four months, I was making a regular trips all over Russia. Every weekend, every Friday or Saturday. You remember that? But what was that? That was great, but what was that? Those were mostly a big cities or middle-sized towns. Somewhere where I was able to come by airplane. And so the scheme was kind of simple. I went to the, I went to the airport of St. Petersburg. I was taking a direct flight into one of big or middle size towns. Moscow, Kazan, Nizhny Novgorod, Novosibirsk, Chelyabinsk, Yekaterinburg, Olsk, Ufa, Samara. But what about the places like this? I, I, I came to conclusion, I need the car. It is also the optimization of the expenses. Yeah. 
because let's say driving to driving even around the Leningrad region where I live actually on taxi or renting the car it's really expensive I started the road trips in 2020 since then you have no idea in what a shock I've been I've got into when I realized how much money I gave out forever to the car rental companies car sharing companies airlines and Russian railways and I got it now it's time to optimize the budget and now in a momentum it's like I paid off relatively a lot of money for the car but already in a middle term perspective it will be justified you know what I mean David Davidovich Christos Vaskresi good to see you thank you so much yes happy belated Easter Christ is risen indeed his reason was David B, the bus stop. David B, do a life in Ukraine. Why? I'm living in Russia, in my absolutely beloved Russia. okay so now here we are walking more like a so-called private sector частный sector so it's like the area sector like an area private area the area of uh, private houses but if now we will go to the center of the city it will be more like uh you know more 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 like the one of the soviet towns but it's great to see that here in the historic city center this is historic city center because everything growing up around the Tikhvin monastery here it's great to see that they are still saved this old flavor and all these wooden houses. No, все выросло вокруг. Да. Вот. А давай сюда, в сторону. Спанки, спанки S Y. Thank you for the super chat. You see, so quiet and uh, you know even the smell even the smell of the village because many people here they are now on friday they uh, grill barbecue or they uh heating the banya oh oh whoa whoa unfortunately this house seems Damons. Damons. And, uh, so now the spirit here is, is, is exactly as in our village in Tavtimanova in the summer.
awesome. Look, this stairway right to the bank, or should I say shore? Old wooden houses. What happened to the house? Well, I said it pretty clear that it's burnt out. At least its roof burnt out. Meanwhile, it's already 8.15. It's only like 15 minutes to the sunset. That's Tichwin Gates, historic Tichwin Gates. That is where from we ha we have started our live stream here. We have started it from there, from that observation platform. That is maybe even something like a guest house. A set of modern wooden houses. Well, now we are racing on a relatively not a big hill. But however, they even have the ski resort here, I did have said. Yeah, I also saw on the map, like, ski resort. I was like, okay. So now, little by little, let's go into the into the city, into the so-called administrative center now. To more modern part. The sign to photograph. I love Tichvin. Wow, wow, wow. Now we see this on the background of the sunset. Whoa. Incredible. Once again, look at this historic wooden gates, schluss.
Tikhun River. This is the uh, river gate of the beginning of 19th century. They started constructing these gates here in 1811. It is definitely uh, was renovated, but you know, this is the woods. I now notice more people are coming to these gates. It's like to hang. Look, the youth is coming, four boys, three girls there, drinking beer. Могу выпить, тебя посажу за роль. That really relaxes your minds. Stacy, your eyes, your eyes. I absolutely enjoyed at first the ride here, which I also was streaming. And now walking here. Awesome. Great sound of the water. Yeah, we, the humans, loves the sound of nature. Because if talk about the scale of the history, I mean like the all the history of the humanity, we became you know, like the city people relatively not a long ago. And our genes, you know, our genetics still remember more like the natural things. And natural sounds than the industrial sounds of a big or even middle-sized towns Какой же снег? Нет, это пена. They turned on the lamp posts already. So again, we are walking next to Tichvin Monastery. Now we will go into the nowadays city center. Back in the days, the city center was here. I mean, like the whole town was growing up around. Well, at first it was growing up inside of the monastery. 
and then all around the monastery. Good evening. Are you a fan of the movies of Tarkovsky, Sergei? Lord have mercy. Well, I definitely love the Tarkovsky movies. Those movies are definitely like the movies that many people are finding, you know, like too long, like boring. But I'm not finding them boring. I love Tarkovsky. And actually that movie uh, for which Leonardo DiCaprio finally got an Oscar. Well, that was, that was uh, filmed with, us, with the use of so many, how to say, um, um, tricks of uh, Tarkovsky and Inyaritu, the director of that movie, he was not even hiding that. He called it the uh, Amash, Amash to Tarkovsky. One of the historic buildings, which is now required the renovation, I believe they will renovate it soon because now here for the last like 10 years in Russia it's a boom it's a boom of the renovations of the historic buildings the only bad thing is that in Russia as many of them as you just can't to renovate them all at once Three hundred people online. Thank you for coming. I hope you really enjoy this stream from Tikhvin. Yes, the Revenant, Sardar. You are right, the Revenant. So, you see, there already begins such a typical for the Soviet Union days multi-flat building, which is, you see, right in front of us. But I like it that the historic part, it's, uh, in fact, untouched. No any modern building there, except the private houses, which is not bad. This is a nice brick house. It's close to the style that was popular in the beginning of 20th century, called brick style. And now there's the park, which is called Aeroville Saint-Clair. 
Эруиль Сен-Клер. That's because Эруиль Сен-Клер considered as the town associates of Tikhvin. Maybe not anymore, but at least it used to be. A five-storied panel building. The residential building. It's like the beginning of 1980s. Maybe the end of 1970s. Nice sunset, yes. Shelly Vasquez, you totally correct saying that house music is the answer is the answer. House music is always the answer. Aeroville St. Clair Park. It's nice that having so much of wild nature in Leningrad region all around Tikhvin. However, they are making so many parks and inside of the city, inside of the town, I mean. So the people here are literally they literally can't live without much of nature around. That's in their blood. They, I believe, making some festivals here in the summertime. You see the whole stage there and the kind of spacious area for the people to come. Tikhvin Monastery, look. They turned on the lightings, the lights there, and it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful anytime and by day, and now in the nighttime. Mother and kids feeding the ducks on the bank of the pond, on the backgrounds of monastery. This is so cool. Whoa. Oh, 
Да, ладно, давай теперь здесь пошли. The spring. You just look at this. The real northwestern Russia. Tikhon. Tikhon. If you just join, let me tell you that. We are in 200 kilometers east from St. Petersburg. This is our first trip on the Moskvich 3 car, which I recently purchased for even more and deeper trips around Russia. So we came here, Tikhvin, one of the oldest towns of Russia, founded in 1383. Uh, founded at first as the Tikhvin Monastery, with the Assumption Cathedral there. It's still active, still a huge monastery in Tikhvin. There, right in front of Tikhvin Monastery, was the house of Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov family where he was born and raised. One of the greatest, he became one of the greatest composers ever. So now I understand why most of his masterpieces are all related to the theme of old Russia. You know, Sadko, Snow Girl, and more. Now here is uh, 55,000 residents. In this town, the historic city center was all about, all around uh, the monastery. But then, when he, it was working, uh, was growing up, it uh, moved a little bit more to the south from monastery. And here, it is having more like a 1960s, 70s, 80s look. But I saw also some older streets there with the architecture of the beginning of 19th, beginning of, beginning of 20th century. You know, such a typical merchant houses. And uh, the house of Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov also looks kind of noble. Yes, uh, his uh, family actually was a noble family. He was from nobility. That's why he got a good education, including the music education. And now we will stuck into the largest cultural place in the city, the Palace of Culture, of course named after Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov, the concert hall for 860 seats there. All the time they are making a different concerts. Of course, including classical ones. Sometimes even with the invitation of the world stars of the classical music. I'm not gonna be surprised if uh, uh, Valery Gergiev 
and the Symphony Orchestra of Mariinsky Theater also performed there. It's probably one of the bars where the youth hanging out. Another examples of 1990s architecture. Typical Soviet building, same as there. Albina said these balconies looks like the ones in New York. Well, these are just a typical emergency balconies everywhere. Но вообще это такие типичные аварийные балкончики. Они есть везде. All right, no wonder the most significant Palace of Culture concert hall named after Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov. In fact, Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov is the most significant, the most significant, the most known in the world person. Fire escape, fire exit. Ну как называется это? Fire exit, fire escape, escape. Well, here it's called like uh, fire stairway or emergency stairway. Аварийная лестница. Пожарная лестница. Роман Сидоров. Абсолютно верно. Ровно так же, как указано в названии. Окей. Okay. Николай Римский Корсаков. Palace of Culture. The concert hall for... 866 there. Look, I see all the lamp posts are having LED lights. So the town of Tifin turned to turned to LED, LED, LED lights. And look, look at this uh, sunset. I don't know if you can see this now, but it is now having a tree color, red, blue, and white. So the sunset made the sunset made the flag of Russia, Russian tricolor. You see that? It's Russian tricolor. You don't believe me? Look at that.
the sunset painted the sky into the colors of Russia. Red, blue, white. You see that? Whoa! In Russia, even the sun sets in the colors of Russia. Uh, Karl Marx Street, by the way, this is uh, Karl Marx Street, or maybe it's uh, Prospect. Yeah, it's pretty often when the main streets in Russian towns are called Lenin Street or Karl Marx Street, or October Street, where October is like dedicated to the Great October Revolution of 1917. Putin controls everything. Yeah, he controls even the sunset. Looks like a school. Okay, this is not the school, but the house of people's creativity. This is where people may come and to have different activities by their different interests, dances, fast reading, robot techniques, drama theater, A little mall. There's the store called Ulip Karadogi, the smile of rainbow. This is the household's store, like you know, household chemicals. And look, here it's all about just the household techniques because here in Russia, a rainbow is still just a rainbow. I'm not sure if it's uh, like uh, legal in your places, but in Russia it's still legal to have rainbow as just a rainbow. I mean, as just a uh, natural thing. Which just happens when the sun is shining during the rain. Another 1970s Soviet building. I hope I never hurt anyone if I 
now hurt anyone please excuse me you can understand that you're uh, on the central streets but on the central streets of one of the provincial towns we see a good old asphalt everywhere instead of the tiles now in uh, all the big towns the big cities they are mostly having the tile everywhere tile tile the hotel one of local hotels <laughs> two stars only two stars but come on it's not a megapolis Here they have the traffic lights where when it's green for pedestrians it's green for all. The hotel called Svir, named after a big river that goes not far from Tikhven. If you remember Svir, it's the river which is connecting Lake Onega and Lake Ladoga. These are two biggest lakes in the European parts of Russia. Now we'll come to their central square. It's now considered the administrative center of the city. Where is the administration of Tikhvin located? And where is the Estella? the Stella, the town of military glory because Tikhvin is the town of the military glory the Nazis occupied Tikhvin back in 1941 but later, the Soviet army liberated it. So I like, I like the center of Tikhvin so far. It's quiet, it's many trees here, it's, you see, a wide sidewalks, many youth, many lights.
some musicians here as well. Of course, it's not like a full-scale band as uh, in St. Petersburg everywhere, but just the guys with a guitar, you know. And they have KFC here. They don't have вкусная точка. They don't have Burger King. But they have KFC. So, how do you like it? And so also, I was reading the reviews that they have some nice bars and restaurants here. 55,000 residents, it's like a, you know, a one big good neighborhood district in a big city. Restaurant гости, the restaurant, the guests. There is already the discotheque. Okay, seems like the restaurant with the discotheque for 40 plus people. This central square, the Stella, dedicated to the military glory of Tikhvin. And the building of the administration of the town of Tikhvin. Double Eagle, one of the symbols of Russia. Frank Hauser, I'm 50 plus, so was. Well, it's okay. I think you also can go there. Why not? KFC is there. DNS. DNS is everywhere. DNS is everywhere where it seems like more than 15,000 residents. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this live stream. This was Tikhvin.
a little town 200 kilometers east from St. Petersburg. My name is Sergei Baklukov. Together with me was Albina Baklukova. We uh, really enjoyed this, you know, from one side ancient, from another side the Soviet flavor of the administrative center of the city. But of course, first of all, we enjoyed the uh, famous Tichmen Monastery and all the area around the monastery. Now it's yet time to uh, go back to the car and yet we will drive back home. Thank you for watching. In the end, traditional panorama. Albina already says bye. And bye. I'm saying bye too. Bye guys. From Tikhvin, Leningrad region. Not everything actually I had time to show you what I planned, but um, I had to delay the stream and it's turned to be dark, dark sooner than I thought. Here yet they have a couple more places to show, but that's I believe already next time. Stacy O. Shields, Gina Skinner, Neil McDonald's Goodfellow, Marion Gran Bruheim. Swelling Sausage, Night Boat, Vadim Yahentov, Akshai Singh, Winnie the Pooh, Jan Olaf Johansson, Robert. Bye, Platinum Peak. LED lighting. Tommy Stacia, thanks for love to my live streams. Keep following. public transportation of Tikhvin. So everything is quiet in Tikhvin. And it's time for us to come back to St. Petersburg and to drive another 200 kilometers west to St. Petersburg. However, they have the hotel here. It's called Tikhvin. If you will come here and will want to stay, that's one of the options. All right, from Tikhvin, from Leningrad region, from Russia, from Baklikov Life, with love.